Hey everyone, it's your girl here with another video and this is going to be a first impression slash review of the Glam Glow Super Mud Cleansing Treatment Mask. I've been hearing about this product for quite some time. It's supposed to be uh, an amazing product. It's supposed to have like all of these great benefits to using it. I've heard nothing but like glowing recommendations and reviews about this product. So I finally went into my local Sephora to check it out and it costs like $69 for the 1.2 ounce jar. $69. And and I can't believe that all of these reviews would be for nothing. I'm pretty sure that it is a quality product. I just can't bring myself to jump out there and pay $69 for a product that I've never used before. So um, as I understand that there is a smaller size, somewhere in a $20 range, but my Sephora either does not carry it or did not have it that day. So I went online to eBay and I purchased a sample size, which is like why I'm calling this video a first impression because I don't think I'll be able to do more more than like one or two treatments from this one little tube alone so this is just kind of like going to be my first impression of the product and from there tell if maybe I would pay the $69 for the full size so um, I have a freshly cleansed face right now and I'm going to apply it with a brush and I'll talk to you a little bit more about it um, once I have the mask on okay okay so this is the um, 0.3 ounce little tube and as I said I purchased it off of eBay it smells like licorice like black licorice and I'm putting it on with my uh, foundation brush it's probably not the best brush to use it with but that's the one I'm using So, okay, so I've applied it and I've used a whole tube so much for being able to use it more than once. And I look like I have like this weird tribal uh, makeup thing going on because the mask is drying um, already. Even as I was putting it on in some places, it was already drying. Um, so it says to leave it on for five to 20 minutes. And I think I'm gonna go the whole route. I think I'm gonna go the whole 20 minutes. So as I'm doing that, I just wanna read uh, the description page uh, from Sephora.com for those of you who probably have not heard of this product before. It says that it's supposed to target, prevent, and help problem skin. It was developed by Glam Glow Dermatologic Chemist to help fight all common skin concerns, including breakouts, discoloration, black and white heads, razor bumps, and ingrown hair. Um, it says the, uh, the skin clearing mud visibly draws out dirt and congestion while a proprietary six acid blend dramatically brightens and softens skin. It works to magnetically draw out dirt and pores with activated X charcoal leaving skin smooth and healthy looking. So um, I've had uh, charcoal products before I've used them and I've had success with them. So that's why I thought that was like, you know, uh, a thumbs up for the product or something that would make me want to try it. It's formulated without parabens and sulfates. And it says based on consumer trials, after one day of use, 94% felt their skin looked renewed, 91% saw an improvement in skin clarity, and 94% felt it gently cleared their skin. After seven days, um, and three times uh, using it three times a week it says a 98% felt their skin looked renewed 97% saw an improvement in skin clarity and 97% felt it gently cleansed their skin so um, I won't be able to do that since I only have one try but my skin has several things going on one I have like oily skin it is problem prone I have acne problems these last couple of years it's cleared up a whole lot but I have like um, acne problems like mostly in this area here wow look how fast that dried wow I have like you know acne acne problems like mostly in this area here and um, the part about the skin discoloration and ingrown hairs really stood out to me just because I, and I guess I'll just be honest with you guys I have been battling Parasitism, I would say since I was 13 years old and for those of you who don't know what that is it's unwanted like male pattern hair growth um, in women and I'm not talking about like one or two hairs obviously you guys can kind of guesstimate it means like hair growth facial hair growth um, I'm not talking about like one or two hairs I had a very extreme extreme case and I mean like very very heavy um, 
coarse hair in these regions um, since I was, I would say since about puberty, about 13, 14 years old. And so um, I had laser hair removal done. This is 2014, I would say. I started in 2004 and I did it for, I would say, about a year and a half to two years. I don't do them anymore just because um, I had great success with um, the treatments. And although the hair has been removed or significantly um, been, you know, removed, when you have laser hair removal done, they do warn you that um, you may get skin discoloration, which is what I did have. And don't get me wrong, I would totally do it all over again because this whole thing looks a thousand percent better than it once did with all of the hair in these areas uh, but um, in return I do have like slight skin discoloration in the areas that they had to go the deepest and the hardest on which were here and here and on my neck because the hairs were just that stubborn so um, Sometimes in the summer, especially like when um, my acne begins to flare up, the skin discoloration definitely begins to stand out. So all of the problems they've mentioned in the description for this product are like all the products I have in my skin. So I'm definitely putting this product to the test by using it um, on my face. So as you guys could see, there's like some parts here um, where I guess those like some of the charcoal bits and this has definitely been like one of my problem areas I'm just gonna let it dry and I'll come back and wash it off and show you guys like what it's um, What it's doing. So I don't know. Uh, I don't want to move in too close to the camera because it begins to become too blurry The closer I get in I can't get the focus correctly, but can you guys see like in these areas here on my nose especially and like here on the sides you guys could can you guys see that the I guess the, I guess the mask is like settling into my pores. It's like I can actually count the number of my pores. Like that's crazy. I've never seen that with another um, face mask. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and the mask has completely dried. These parts here where it is the darkest, they're dry as well. But um, I guess that's just the way the mask is. They're just dark. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off and let you guys know how my skin feels afterward. So I'm rinsing my mask off and I'm noticing that like in this area, which I mentioned earlier was my uh, one of my bigger problem areas. I'm noticing that like it didn't clear out the pores as much as I would have liked them to. In fact, you could actually see, can you, I don't want to come too close. You guys won't be able to see it. And I don't mean to gross you guys out or anything, but um, I'm having like those, those noodles are coming out of my pores, which is like, you know, the when my uh, facialist does my skin, I know she goes really hard around my nose. So I know this was going to be a pretty hard area anyway. But if not for anything else, this mask definitely opened up my pores so that I could very easily do this and mash it out. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Sorry. So I've rinsed the mask off and my face just feels amazing. It is like so soft especially around here where um, I have like acne problems sometimes when you have uh, your skin is inflamed or like when you've been picking at your skin sometimes you have like that uh, the sharp bumps and it's still kind of like um, still kind of feels sharp on the on the surface it has smoothed those parts over it just looks amazing in the mirror I don't know if it's showing up that way on camera but it looks amazing it looks like I already have moisturizer on of course I'm still going to put moisturizer on because you could never put on a treatment like this and not put a moisturizer on afterward but it definitely feels great just after rinsing my face so I'm gonna go ahead and put my toner and face creams on So I'm done putting on my face moisturizers, my eye cream, and my acne medicine. And I will say that all of the products perform much better, settled into my skin much better than they have in a very long time after using this mask. I would say the last time my skin felt this way would be the last time I saw my skincare specialist nearly a year ago. Um, I definitely give this product a thumbs up. I think for $69, it is 
uh, worth the money but I don't think that this uh, is a product to use all the time like I would probably only use this maybe once a week or twice a month depending on what your skin type is I would not use something that's um, that's that treats your skin this deeply all of the time I would you know I would like use this with other masks in between I would not use this all the time I do think it's a great quality product if you guys have any comments questions or responses please leave them in the box below if you haven't don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe and until next time take care you guys bye